Well, hello everyone, Phil in here with another uh, LEGO Harry Potter Hogwarts Moments review, and also my last one, of course. And this time it is on the Transfiguration class. So on the front of the box here, you see all the logos and a little picture of it expanded on, the three minifigs included, and picture of everything going on, and age recommendations 8 and up, set number 76382, has 241 pieces. And then on the back side you see picture another picture of it all folded out, and also how to do so, and collect them all, which I have all of, which, and we'll see a completion of that later in this video, of course. And now into the manual. On the front of the manual, same pictures on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. Add for last summer's uh, set. Add for all the Hogwarts moments sets. And then the last steps. First of which is Professor McGonagall. Yeah, McGonagall. Which the total print and lower piece, same as from the Great Hall set in 2018, of course, but the hair hat combo piece, of which all new to this, like finally has the hair for that. And the face print, of which all new for that. And also continues on to the back side, of course, so great to have improvements for this iconic character, of course. And next to which is Ron Weasley. Well, everything of which, same as from 2018, but oh, what's kind of new is uh, the uh, Maxwell Knight's book piece, but with the new kind of printed tile piece of turning a bird into a, a, a vase or something. And then slight back or print. And also a scared double sized face as in most sets from the last two years. Oops. And last of which is Hermione Granger. As you see, was holding the rat piece of which kind of is suiting to the scene, of course. Because, I mean, since they do hold rats near them in the movie, of course. But besides that, everything of which just about the same as from the uh, Quidditch match set and a couple others. Except for a little change for the Gryffindor symbol, of course. And look from the back. Also, same exact stuff as Ron did. And hairpiece and whatnot, all still the same from before and still using the short legs, of which fitting to the earlier movies, of course. Okay, so now on to the a book set itself. As you see, a quite interesting color, which unlike the others, which were other, which were sand green, sand blue, and uh, dark, and also uh, dark tan, and this of which kind of burnt uh, orangish brown, of course. And of course, it's a nice printing of the Hogwarts symbol like the others, and also these little things that happen with it, like a broom, a, a cup, a cat, mouse, and cup with a mouse suiting to the scene, and a crow, of course. And then there's the spine, which same kind of deal, but stickered tile with the, the with the mouse cup again. And there's the back, like with nothing at all on it, and also so to 
a stud there to connect it onto that of another one. And for something which I'll do at the end of the video. And so now on to with the unfolding. Just watch it right by. Okay, then, so onto the interior space of it. Since, of course, like any Hogwarts classroom, of course, has a lot of the tan bricks, of course, and also like in one of the others, where it has these uh, little hallway sections to it, but, and of course, on them has a stickered Gryffindor banner. So the stickers on those large ones, but really nice for that. And for the spine, which has a few stickers of some various characters. Of course, kind of nice for that. And also a couple of those candle pieces. And for the little builds is get both of this little chalkboard that is showing how to convert a frog into a cup, of course. And also this little build side here. And that's like a bookshelf and a shelf with some various things. A little a nano fig and a, a trans blue gem and also purple uh, one by one with sparkles on it. Very nice for mocking, of course. And also a, a little treasure chest in the uh, light tan color, of course. And also get an inside frog piece in yellow. Very uh, quite interesting and nice. Also teacup and uh, gauntlet. You also get a table and a couple stool or stools just with those same exact kind of jumper pieces just on both of them and kind of simple and above whatever and lastly is this little teaching stand podium thing which has those double jumper things like we've seen in one of the other sets of this wave and also do get another sticker piece right here which does look quite good and, and good use of snot all around and of course and also not space to stand your McConnell mini fig on to a course oops So now on to it, the final verdict. Oh, overall, this I think a, a, a Overall, this I think a, a pretty good set for its price and everything. Like, get a new exclusive variant of McGonagall, of course, and and of course this one of the good scenes in one of the first two films, uh, Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets, of course, is of transforming things, transforming rat into a cup, of course. 
and also do get and on top, and of course the frock piece in yellow good for mox and all and this one representing Gryffindor which the which our golden trio is mostly in of course and so if you're looking to get this set to add to your collection definitely worth the pick up and if you're looking and if you're looking to get something different for your collection also definitely pick this up and so now thanks I one said is oh, hang on. and here we have the other uh, Hogwarts moment sets that I previously did reviews on all of. And of course, representing, and of course, they of which represent different parts of Hogwarts, and also, of course, different parts of the films, and all four of the houses being Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. And of course, it was fun to collect something different, and, and, and also a good a cheaper alternative to most of the other sets, of course. And of course, with each of those studs on the backs of them, makes them connect together quite goodly. And of course, there's how they would look on your bookshelf, of course. But and they do map, and they match up pretty well, like with the same exact style of spine and different uh, tiles for each of the houses, of course. Overall, it's a good direction for them. And it, so if you're under a budget and want to get some various sets of which, definitely pick them all up. And I hope you enjoyed all these reviews as much as I did. And hopefully they do some others like these in the future, of which, like Tom Riddle's Diary and things. And also this first time of an of sets and of Harry Potter sets in the first half of a year, of course. But let's see if they'll do so next year and so on. Yeah. And again, that's it. And thanks for watching.